Hello, today we're going to talk about Hoya macrophylla. Hoya macrophylla comes from the Austral Asia region and it is an epiphyte, which means it grows on the surface of other plants. I have two of these plants. One is some cuttings that I didn't like the root system of, so I took them off, took the roots off, and put it in LECA. And as you can see from the roots we have here, it's quite happy in LECA. It's doing really well. No new growth yet, but I imagine that's not far away. The Hoya macrophylla, this is the vari variegata version, as you can see from the white margins, but the Hoya macrophylla has absolutely stunning foliage. You can see it here. I do water these and refill the reservoir, reservoir every one to two days. I live in New Mexico and it's very hot and dry here, so the reservoirs don't last very long for me. And I do fertilize this bi-weekly with Dynagro foliage. I'll insert a picture of that right here so that you can see what I'm talking about. And I just refill that reservoir and that's basically what I do to take care of the plant in LECA. Um, I flush the LECA about once a month to get all of the minerals and stuff off of it. Um, it is a little bit of maintenance, but ultimately pretty easy care. The leaves do stay nice and firm and plump for the majority of the time. The water, ne the plant rather, never lacks water, and it does pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with this plant in LECA. I'm not quite sure if I will leave it in LECA. Part of me wants to plant it in with my other plant here in the spring, and honestly, that's probably what I'll end up doing. But for right now, it's in LECA. It's living its life, and it's enjoying it. It stays at regular room humidity, and I do keep it on a heat mat to keep the water kind of warm during the winter. But other than that, that's basically the plant in LECA. This other Hoya macrophylla I got from the plant farm on Etsy. They're really awesome. You should check them out. And it is in my standard soil mix with a slight amendment. Um, as you can see, the plant is doing very well. It's growing a new leaf right here. And it has this long tendril where there is actually another leaf starting to sprout. You can see that right there. And the leaves, again, on this plant are just so stunning with the ridges and everything. It's a very easy care plant. A little look at my soil mix there. It is potting mix, pumice, perlite, orchid bark, and horticultural charcoal. This particular plant does like a little bit of an alkaline soil, so I do crush up some eggshells and put that in the in the uh, soil mix as well for this plant in particular you could also do the same thing and achieve the same thing with uh, oyster shells you can buy those on amazon if you don't want to use eggshells i just wash my eggshells crush them put them in with the soil this plant does need a bit of a drink i left it like this on purpose so that you could see the bendy leaves and this is about the time i would go ahead and water this plant um, when the leaves get a little soft a little bendy and rubbery that's when I take it over to my sink and I give it a nice good drink with some distilled water. I do use distilled water on all of my plants because I have really hard mineral filled water. And you can see on this how it's not bendy. It's super hard and nice and firm and succulent. That's typically how the leaves tend to stay in LECA as I mentioned before. I do fertilize this plant monthly with some fish emulsion and I do spray it eh, weekly to every two weeks with a foliar spray that I make out of my LECA fertilizer. There is a little bit of sun damage on some of these leaves. That's what these spots are. Don't be alarmed. Um, this plant does like bright indirect light and that's how you get these wonderful pink margins on the side. So you can see this plant's got lots of bright direct light because of the pink on it it's very beautiful um, it lives between my eastern and southern window on those shelves in the corner behind you um, yeah it's uh, it's a beautiful plant it's one of my favorites every time I see one for sale I have to buy it because they're just gorgeous they're actually not a very expensive plant I picked up mine from the plant farm and like I said it was two cuttings in one pot and I believe it was like $20 or so not bad at all it is a just a beautiful plant and it does like high humidity in its natural habitat but it just stays in general room humidity at my house and it's growing really well that's the other side of the leaf and what that looks like um, my humidity in my house is about 20 to 30 percent not high at all and it's still doing really well but overall, this is a really, really great plant. I enjoy it. It's one of my top favorites. I'd say in the top five, gorgeous, gorgeous plants. I highly recommend it if you can pick one up. They're not too hard to find. And like I said, they're on the relatively cheap side. 
and very easy to care for. A great starter Hoya if that's something that you're looking into. If you have any additional questions on the care of this plant or something I may have forgotten, definitely just leave me a comment down below. And as you can see, I said this plant needed a drink. I thought I would bring you with me to go ahead and water the plant. Um, I always love it when people say, oh, this plant needs a drink, and then they show you they're actually watering it. I don't know why, it's just very soothing. But here I am watering the plant, and this is how I do it. I give it a nice soaking on top, and then I wait about <clears throat> five, 10 minutes, and I come back and I soak it again, because I wanna make sure I get all that soil wet, especially in terracotta. You don't want to underwater the plant when it's ready for a drink. Um, definitely wait till the leaves are a little bit bendy and then thoroughly soak that soil. If your water, if your soil rather is well draining enough, you'll be just fine giving it a real thorough soak. And that's it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for joining me with a for a little bit of Hoya Macrophylla tips and care tricks. Thank you. Bye-bye.